See, face it, I got you out of that boathouse in the nick of time. Come on, Ted, I know I mean it. I mean it too. The man is a 180-pound germ. Ted, he is not that way at all. He has been very, very kind to me. He is pond scum. You could dig up better company if you dredged the bottom of a sewer. That's it. Forget it. I'm leaving. What is wrong with you? He's using you. Why do you feel so compelled to defend him? Goodbye, Ted. Okay. I get it. You don't like the truth, do you? You want to run away? Go right ahead. Only let me give you a hand. You want to destroy your life? Go right ahead. Tad, I will stay if you promise to stop talking ugly about Mr. Chandler. No. I'm sorry. That is something I can definitely not promise you. But you don't understand. He has been so good to me. He has given me a job. He has given me a roof over my head. I mean, they have treated me better than my own family, except for Will. You don't know him. I do. I've seen him when he's crossed. You know, I bet your mom needs help in the kitchen. It's not a pretty sight, Dixie. I'm very good at chopping carrots. Hello, Mrs. Martin. Can I help you? Oh, well, somebody raided the refrigerator and ate half my coleslaw. Oh, well, you know, that's funny, because I just told Pat I was good at chopping carrots. Really? Uh, yeah. God, that lasagna smells good. Oh, thank oh. you. Thank you so much for having me. You're more than welcome. Listen, if you would really like to take over from this, I would be most appreciative, and I will finish that in the thing. Okay. How, um... How are you feeling? Well, actually, I'm uh, in very uh, high spirits lately, thanks to Ted. Did you reschedule your appointment with Dr. Fainer? Yes, I did. It was wonderful. You know what he did? He let me hear the baby's heartbeat. It was great. He just put my uh, put a little thing on it. Yeah. <laughs> he said it was very strong, too. <laughs> oh, I remember that so well, hearing my baby's heartbeat for the first time. <laughs> oh. Well, if... If Tad has been of some help to you, you know, that makes me very proud. Well, you know, you should be. It's great. But, um, I really have been thinking a lot about what we talked about, you know, about Tad and everything at the hospital. Oh, you, oh, about, about the adoption? Yeah. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you, what kind of father could do that to his son? I mean, leave him out there in, in a park with his, with his leg broken. Ray Gardner was a Oh, he was a horrible man. Well, what about his mama? I mean, she couldn't do anything? Oh, Opal's was powerless. That is such, that is such a sad story. I mean, children should be loved, not abused. But at least, at least Tad found a, a happy ending, huh? But he carries scars. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he does. But at least, you know, he's got this home and his family. <laughs> And a real mom. Your baby will find a happy ending, too. And a real mom. Well, that was a great dinner. Yes, it was. Except my parents seem to have forgotten the fact that I don't do dishes. Well, I don't think it's going to hurt. Oh. Now, come on. All you have to do is do the plates first, and then the glasses, and then the knives and forks. Oh, heaven help me, I've been sold into white slavery. Let's start. Yeah, let's start. You know, um, I just want to ask you something. I know a lot of adopted kids, like, look for their parents, you know, when they get older. Did, did you ever do that? Sort of. Well, how do you like it? How was it? You want to wash or dry? Am I getting too personal? Well, I just don't see the point of uh, digging up something that's dead and buried. Was it really that terrible? No. It wasn't that bad. I love my sister, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Opal. My mother was... Uh, no, she couldn't help herself. But my father, well, he was a man that never should have had children.
What's your name? He always came back before. Your name, son? Tad Gardner. Oh, Joe, be careful. They found him abandoned in the state park. Tad, how long were you there? A couple of days. I was cold and hungry. My dad said he'd come back, but he didn't. Am I gonna die? How, how do you really feel about your dad? I mean, do I resent him for uh, leaving me? Yeah. Nah. What's the point? Considering where I was, where I am now? I mean, look around you. What, you don't think I'm clearing the table fast enough? No, I think you're lying. I talked to your mom the other day. I mean, we had a real good discussion about adoption in the hospital, and she was very, very honest with me, which I appreciated. You got it? And you've been very honest to me, too. You have, about your family, but you... You didn't tell me one thing. You didn't tell me that your dad abused you. I shouldn't have brought it up. I won't, I won't mention it again. I was going to tell you, I just decided that um, in your condition, it wasn't the time to run around telling adoption horror stories. Dad, I don't know why. I mean, you have a great family. You had a very happy ending. No. Nope. Nobody knows. The story's not over yet. As far as Tad Martin is concerned, most of Pine Valley thinks that uh, the jury's still out. I don't blame him. There's a lot you don't know about me. I've screwed up a lot. Throughout all of it, all I've ever wanted to do is make those people proud of me. Dad, everybody screws up, believe me. And they are very proud of you. They got no reason to be. I mean, I'm not much to write home about. I certainly don't compare to my brother, Jeffrey, the hotshot doctor. Jeff is my brother by my father's first marriage. I mean, considering my age, I still live at home. I've made a disaster out of two marriages, and I haven't even graduated from college yet. When my parents look at me sometimes, I wonder what they must think. Ted, do you... you think that they didn't... they wish that they hadn't adopted you? No. No, 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 no. Good. I, I, I know my parents love me, but, uh... There's an old saying that the apple never falls too far from the tree. You're absolutely crazy. Do you know what your mama said to me? She said that she could not love you more as if you had been her own son. Mom said that? And I think she meant it. Now, come on, now. Don't be mad at me, okay, for bringing it up. Or mad at her for telling me. Um, I'm going to go freshen up, okay? Well, are you... Are you guys finished, Dad? Oh, <laughs> well, what, what, what's this for? You make good lasagna. <laughs> Sorry to drop by unannounced, Joe, but I've traced my niece here, and it's important that I see her immediately. It's urgent. In fact, if you dig up something about Dixie's plans, it would be greatly appreciated, and it would be uh, paid for very handsomely. My feelings on working for you haven't changed any, Palmer. So I'm sorry I can't help you. Yeah, well, uh, if you don't mind, 
When you come to your senses, you know where to find me. What was that all about? That makes me sick. He thinks he can buy everything. Dixie? No, me. You mean he offered you a job? Yeah. I told him what he could do with it, too. Some jobs just aren't worth doing. No matter how much money you make. Good. That's what I like to hear, son. Such a beautiful house, isn't it? Yeah. It's all right on the outside. Hey, thanks for saving me from uh, Uncle Palmer, too. Sure. Ted, are you mad at me or something? Is it because I know about your dad? No, not at all. Felt good being honest with you. I was just as well I pulled some skeletons out of the closet. What's the matter? I gotta be honest with you about something. I know who the father of your baby is, and I've gotta warn you, I've gotta beg you on my hands and knees not to trust him. No, 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 don't about start it. that with me. We both know that Adam Chandler is the father of your baby, and I'm trying to tell you that you are nothing but a means to an end for him. You're a baby machine performing a necessary function, and that is all. Ted Martin, that is the awfulest thing it I have the ever truth. heard. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear, but once he's finished with you, once he gets what he wants, he will dump you flat. That is not true. Adam and Brooke care about me. I'm practically a member of that family. Well, what did he tell you that? No, but it's the truth. Oh, come on, Dixie, be serious. What do you think he's gonna do, huh? You think he loves you? You think once you have this baby, he's, he's gonna divorce Brooke and marry you? Don't be a fool! Dixie, you are in serious trouble, and the scary thing is you're the only person that doesn't know it. For the sake of your baby, wake up. Open your eyes before it's too late. What are you looking at? Tad's car's in the driveway. He's talking to Dixon. Does that upset you? Well, it, yes, it upsets me because I don't know what he's after. Well, friendship, it would seem. Things are not always what they seem with Tad Martin. If you hadn't hired him to play detective, I wouldn't have to be concerned about it. Dixon needs friends her own age. Are you an authority all of a sudden on unwed mothers? First it's Roth, and then it's Tad and Dixie, and now it's me. I'm not your punching bag, Adam. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs. No, no, come back. Brooke, good night. Don't walk out. Come back here. Brooke? Adam? Brooke? Adam, I need to talk to you. Right now? Yes, right now. It's very important. Did you mean it? Do you really, really want us all to be together someday? I mean, you and me and, and, and the baby? Of course I do. You're not just using me as a baby machine and then trying to get rid of me. Who on earth put an idea like that into your head? Tad Martin? Damn him! him he's wrong he's wrong he's he's trying to make you doubt me because he hates me he's hated me for years he he's jealous i i've made something of my life and he's nothing he's got nothing but but ambitions i'm sorry adam people are saying things well i know they say things but you mustn't listen to them you mustn't let the dad martins of the world come between us what we have is too special it's too it's too big now, I don't want you worrying, Dixie. Oh, come on, tell me you're not going to worry. Promise me you're not going to worry. I'm sorry, I can't help it. No, I love you, damn it. When this child is born, and all of this is straightened out, we're going to be so happy, we're going to be ecstatic, I swear it. You believe me, don't you? Yes. Of course you do. Good girl. And nothing is going to come between us. I want to hear you say that. Go on, say it. Nothing's going to come between us. Good. 
You see, I'm here to protect you. And make sure you have everything you want. You trust me? <laughs> of course you do. Now, I'm going to ask you to do, do something for me. It's, it's, I don't ask you to do much. <laughs> and this goes against what Will said he wants you to do, but I, for me, for me, for my sake, for the sake of our child, I want you to sign these adoption papers. I can't do that. Of course you can. No, I'm sorry, but I'm not signing anything. And you should remember that this baby is mine. And I am the one who is going to decide what to do with it. 